Eagles on the outside to eight in out of West Des Moines. Road to number two is not Riley Clam in the 9C from Bakersfield, California. 14, Brian Compart out of Madrid. Derek Foster out of Maxwell, the 19 Double D in the 5G. That is Trace and Glick from Madrid. And that is how lined up for our first of two heat races in your night seat notation, IMC Mod Lights. Again, we welcome you. If you're here at the races, we thank you for coming out and braving that uh, once again windy weather. And if you're watching this on home and flow racing, like I know Todd Wilson is watching, I'm sure he's probably watching it from his wonderful house in Webster City, keeping nice and warm there. Have a hot chocolate for us, please. Or it's kind of what I was thinking. Something along that line. Well, would you want hot chocolate or something else? Would you like a little spiked, uh, a little alcohol in there? No, I'm, I'm, I'm just more of a regular hot chocolate. Uh, given the one to go at the flag stand, I think it's a Shermanator, Jamie Sherm, our flag man tonight down at the flag stand. Give him the one to go side. We're going to go race the next time off in turn number four. Six laps of distance. So they're all in the watchful eyes of the Shermanator. Jamie Sherman on the flag stand tonight as we get ready to go green off of turn number four. It's Showtime in Motown. They're going to head down into turn number one for the first time. It's Nathan Wolf, the three car, out in front here early. Down the back straightaway, he'll take them. Riley Clem in the 9C, stocking from the number two spot. But it's going to be Wolf off turn number four. Nathan Wolf, your leader, lap number one. Then it is that 9C. Riley Clem sits in the second spot. The battle is, though, on for third between Nobles and Kapar. Oh, Nobles upside down. Red flag is out. Red flag is out. He ends upside down over there in the track center port by Foxby in turn two. Report I got is a little shaken up over there, so just needed a little assistance from the ambulance crew. So Of course, we want to thank all of our great sponsors here right now, Rodney. Let's run through those sponsors one more time so we know that they get mentioned again. High V Food Stores here in Marshalltown. Also, in memory of Grandpa Gil Sonner, sponsored down there, O'Reilly Auto Parts. Also got Night Sanitation, which is Night Sanitation for all your garbage needs up there in uh, Hardin County area, then the Eldora area, Night Sanitation. Um, also, Avila Bank, Central State Bank, H&F Distributing, Coors Light, Miller Light Products, Mich uh, Fisher, Fisher Trucking, Spot on calibration and repair, U local UAW 893, IBW 204. Look at UAW 893, IBW, look at 204, Independent Auto here in Marshalltown. Also got Big A Tire Center, 
Mid-State Boring, RBF Electric, KFJB, 1230 AM, and FM 93.9 and the FM dial. And you can listen to Iowa's Best Country Kicks 101.1. Chances are Jerry will be on there sometime in the 8 to 8.30 time tomorrow morning with uh, Brandon, and Justin, and Kat tomorrow morning on the morning kickstart. Listen to Iowa's Best Country Kicks 101.1, Yale Power Washing, Velocity, Carl Chevrolet, Carl Customs, our sister racetrack, 141 Speedway. So the driver is getting ready to come out of the race car over there. From our words from over the turn number two, there he is climbing out, race fans. Tomcat performance, the joyous seating, Elmquist towing of Ames and Boone, fast shafts of the best drive shafts in the racing business. Quick performance, victory fuel. Jump in there with Flow Racing, official live streaming here of the Speedway. d &E Outdoor Services and Stinsland Farms. 1-800-BETS-OFF. Why, you got a sports betting problem? Do you need some help? D depends on who you ask. Call 1-800-BETS-OFF from your life, Iowa. Looks like Nate is queuing up to replay there on Flow Racing and just took a nice tumble. Uh, well, in vice dealer of contact with another racer going out in the corner. Heck of a ride there over that direction. Martin Marietta now hiring P and D welding. Thank you for supporting us. Hey, the Brit the Brit Brew crew is checking in from the Brit basement. I just so happened to look down at the phone. All right. We've got Kellogg Lawn and Stowe looking for a new mower. See the great crew from Kellogg Lawn and Stowe for your grasshopper mower because it's that time of the season you're going to be starting mowing the yards if you haven't already. Some neighbors have started mowing. I don't think my dad's gotten out the mower yet, but I know he's gotten it out fired it up a few times. Hey, Pastor Kenny's leaving. He, he said he's too cold. Oh, he says a couple more weeks before he thinks about mowing. He'll say that. He'll say that when we get a bunch of uh, early week, that 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 liquid sunshine thing. And they're supposed to do that in the early week, and he'll have some wet grass, and he'll have to mow some grass by next Thursday. Also got JNF Fabrications, Quick Car Racing Products, Rugged Radios, The Toy Scout, BW Outdoors, Camp Chef, Tired In by Love Tap. The Locker in a Mexican Authentic Grill, Jury Automotive and Truck Repair, Performance Bodies and Parts, Sonoka Race Fields, Presenting Ink Signs and Graphics, Toby K's Hideaway, North Throughout with Dairy Queen, Team Elite and Castrol. Also got Long Anchor. Also, you got Chevrolet Performance, Prison Performance, and also got Dirt Defender. All of our great sponsors here. Oh, for can't forget about Hogan Auto Plaza. Give them a call. If you need a tow here in Marshtown, give Hogan Auto Plaza a call at 641 752 0027. Hey, we are doing 50 50 tonight, Fox Man. So. Those are on sale till 9, then we'll do the draw. So if you want to get in on it, your, your odds are pretty good tonight. But it's like the Iowa Lottery. You can't win. You can't win the money if you don't buy a ticket. You know, you got to buy a Powerball ticket or a, a, a Mega Millions. Unfortunately, I didn't win the Powerball, so I guess I still have a job here. Maybe, I don't know. I haven't gotten fired yet, so. Well, looks like we're just about ready to go back to racing. King of the High Banks coming to you tonight and tomorrow night. Jury Automotive and Truck Repair. We run a full show again tomorrow night before crowning our king of the high banks. Again, tomorrow night, the pit gates open at 4.30. Grandstands at 5.30. We hot lap at 6.45. We're racing again tomorrow night at 7.30 for our king of the high banks, presented by Drew Automotive into truck repair. We're getting ready to go back to green. One lap down, five laps to go. Well, we'll pick it up right where we left off. Out in front, it is Wolf, the three. Now he's got a company coming on the outside. That's the 9C. Riley Clem there takes a look to the high side. Clem looks to the outside of that 9C car. Nathan Wood works the bottom side of the speedway side by side down in turn one and two. It'll be Riley Clem, your leader, off of turn two. Down the back straightaway goes Nathan Wolf in the three machine. 
In that set, third spot is Compart, and then it is the 19 double D at Derek Foster. That's as they run, three down, three to go. Riley Clem, the nine C, now your leader and pulling away. He's got 10 car links out in front. Back to a wolf in the three. Clem's gonna work it around the bottom of turn number four. He gets the gas pedal down the front straight away. He'll send it down into one and two. He's looking good on the point. Down to one and two they go. It'll be Riley Clem leading the way. Nathan Wolf sits in that second spot. Come party in third. Derek Foster in fourth. Still as they go. White flag out. One to go. Says Insurer, you're on the flag stand. We got one to go. One more time around for your leader. Right now it is Riley Clem. Looks like it's his to lose as he'll put the nine car into turn three and four now. He brings it out and sees a checkered flag at the dirt defender flag stand. He's going to take it. Riley Clem, the nine C. He takes heat race number one. And Nathan was, Wolf, second, and Brian Compact in the three spot. And that was your Avila Bank heat race number one. And the red flag in that one was called, but it was the Central State Bank sponsored that one. H&F Distributing heat race number two on the speedway. On the pole with the 4G out of Altoona. He is not Kyle Larson. It's Ben George in the 4G. And outside of him, the 99 from Des Moines, Josh May. Row number two, the 47 out of Polk City, that is Corey Sonner. Behind him is Jaden McDowell out of Murfreedon, Tennessee, the 7 2 Murfreesboro, Tennessee. And your final starter in the 45 out of Grinnell, it is Cody Hack in car 45. And that is how it's going to for heat race number two in your night's annotation. IMC Modify, Mod Lights in this heat race again, sponsored by your great friends from H&F Distributing in Marshalltown. Your core light, middle light products, and I see H&F Distributing top of the roof from right here at the Marshalltown Speedway up over the dirt mound off the back stretch. Those 50-50s on sale. Get in on that. I'm sure there's somebody at home thinking they can buy 50 50 tickets, but they can't. We are green off of four. Here we go. Three wide going down the front straight before we get into turn one. Sonner on the inside. Then that's McDowell in the middle. May on the high side. Sonner will take the two spot, but here comes McDowell. McDowell looks to the inside off of turn number four. It will be George, your leader, lap number one. McDowell and Sonner. It's McDowell, then Sonner, second and third. Ben George showing the way, but here comes the 722 of McDowell. McDowell's going to move up, take a look at the backside of your leader as they wheel it out of Ford into the front straightaway. George still hanging on, but it is McDowell coming to call. Oh, McDowell trying to look to the inside of that 4G of Ben George racing down the back straightaway side by side for the race lead. This time by Wu off three down, three to go. And it'll be McDowell slides it up. You got a new leader. It is McDowell in the 722. George in second. Then it's Sonner third. Josh May in the 99 fourth. Your new leader takes him down the back straight away. McDowell now on the point. George trying to reclaim it. He's a couple car links off the bumper. It'll be McDowell down the front straight away, followed by George. Sonner, the 47 car following from the three spot. Off of turn number two goes McDowell in the 722. George in the 4G sits in that second spot. In third is the 47, Asaner as they run the speedway. White flag out, one lap to go for the 722 of Jackson McDowell out of Murfreesboro, Tennessee. It's Checkers waiting off turn number four. Jaden McDowell will lead them to it. The 722 picks up the heat race win. Ben George in the 4G second. Corey Sonner, the 47. He brings it home third. Up next will be the first of a two in your Rugged Radio's IMCA Sport Mods in this heat race presented by Fisher Trucking. Uh, Marshalltown on the pole from Kelly, Iowa. The 21 is Cam Reimers. Outside of him, it's Speedy Bray, Braden Carter, and the 01 from Oskaloosa. Dylan Van Wyk, another Oski driver there. The 17 is inside row two, and Justin Jones is on his outside. And Justin Jones from Benji, Minnesota. Row number three on the inside is Cousin Kyle. Kyle Olson in the K3 from Cedar Rapids, Iowa, and outside of him in the 22 junior, that is Brady Hilmer. 
And rounding out your field from Eddyville, the 5'3", Logan Anderson. It's Herbie the Love Bug 53 of Logan Anderson, and it's a black Herbie. I say it's a, a little different color Herbie this year. Caution light is off, Ronnie. Eight laps of distance. Here we go. It is showtime in your regular radio. Heat number one, presented by Fisher Trucking. It'll be Braden Carter, the 0-1, picking up where he left off. He's out in front. You got one around. Everybody misses him. We're going to stay green on the track. Here comes Carter out of turn number four into the front straightaway. He's got lap number one. Drivers following. Carter, your leader in the 0-1, then it's Reimers in second. Kyle Olsen now will take the third spot away from Van Wyke down the back straightaway. Hilmer sits back there in fifth, then it's Anderson in the 53. Right now, Speedy Brave, Reed and Carter, that 0-1, Cam Reimers, the 21. The battle's over for third. Here comes Van Wyke on the high side, Olsen on the inside. What's the battle for third down the back straightaway? Braden Carter going to wheel it off turn number four. Down the front straightaway he comes. He's got a comfortable margin over the 2-1 of Cam Reimers. Reimers in that two spot. Cousin Kyle, Kyle Olsen running third, but now he gives up the spot. That is Van Wyk will move up and take it away. Halfway home this time, four down, four laps to go for that 0-1 is Mini Bray, Brandon Carter in second is Cam Reimers, the 21. In third is Van Wyk right now. Olsen wants that third spot away. He's stuck on the bottom, can't get it done. Here comes Logan Anderson, the 53. Herbie, the left butt, come to call it in the 53. Trying to now, he'll work the backside of Olsen. They got three to go. The battle's still on for third, fourth, and fifth. Carter right in the rim around one and two. Moves down a little bit in three and four, but he pushes it off the corner into the front straightaway, two to go. Reimer sitting second, the race back for the three spot. Van White has it, he's got company behind. Two to go, a lap and a half actually to go for Speedy Bray, Brady Carter, the zero one. Cam Reimer's the 21. Now the white flag is out, one to go, so the Shermanator with one to go for Speedy Bray. Then it is the 21 of Reimers. Third right now is at 17 of Van White. Now the battle's on for fourth, give it to Herbie the Love Bug. Logan Anderson down to 53. Here comes your leader. He's going to cruise on home to 0 1. Speedy Bray will put this one in his pocket. Second is Cam Reimers. And the race for third. Give it to the 17. Dylan Bay and White out of Husky. Rugged Radio's IMC Sportmont Heat Race number two, presented by Spa and Calibration and Repair out of Atkins, Iowa. On the pole from Muscatine, the 17th C is St. Paris. Outside of him, out of Montezuma, in the 30 M is McGuire DeYoung. Row number two finds Rob Jennings out of Boone, the 37 machine. And to his outside, the 2W of Reed Wolfmeyer from Liberty, Illinois. Fourth row, or sorry, third row on the inside of me, the 40 HC is Hunter Clement out of Rhodes, Iowa. Little Rocket, we're going to call it. And the 7V out of Altoona, that is Carter Inman in the uh, Caden, uh, Carter Vandenberg 7V machine. That, of course, is Tyler Inman once again. Tyler had a good run last week at the Stewart Speedway. Not so good run at Marshalltown, but still, uh, I think they like Tyler Inman in the car, so Tyler's going to drive the car again tonight. We're going to stay yellow one more time as the ambulance will come back to the infield here. So we're your spot on calibration and repair. Heat race number Two in your record radios, IMC Sport Watch. Record radios is the official radio provider, by the way, of Marshalltown Speedway. Each one of our track officials around the Speedway have a wonderful record radios uh, that they're using to communicate to the, well, the, the tower, is, or the flagman, or who brought out the caution, or who spun who, and whatever. Or the communication to the drivers, that one way communication to the driver's earpiece that's in their ear that they get yelled at. Probably a good thing that's a one way. Yeah, sometimes say, uh, yeah. I, I've been on the end of that. Caution light is off. Jamie Sherman with the green flag in his hand. We're ready to rock and roll. Go back to green here. And we go back to, we go green for the first time though. Here in heat race number two of your sport mods. They work their way into turn number one the first time. DeYoung goes to the top side. The 30 is gonna lead him down the back straightaway. 
He'll set it into turn three and four as they make their way around. It is McGuire D. Young out in front. He'll show the way to the 17th C of Shane Paris and Tyler Inman. Right now it is McGuire D. Young, your race leader. In second is Paris in the 17th C. The 7B of a Tyler Inman right now. And then in that third spot, it is Reed Wolfmeyer, the 2W. Those are your top four cars on the speedway. But up front right now, McGuire to Young running the high side, so is Paris, and so is Tyler Inman. Indeed, your top three working right up at the top of turns one and two. De Young will lead him there once again. He's going to flirt with that edge, with that right rear. Oh, tapping the brakes up there. That's the 17C Paris, got it a little too high. The 7B of Inman following in third. They're single file down the front chute. Still single file going down the front chute. It's McGuire, the young leader. Paris in second, Inman in third. Then it is one player in fourth. Fifth is a 37 of Rob Jennings. Then it's Hunter Clement. This time by a handful down, five down, three to go for McGuire DeYoung, the 30M. DeYoung doing the top side. Tango still around one and two. He's pulled away now. He's got half a straightaway advantage. McGuire DeYoung showing the way. Running in that number two spot. It is Paris still there. Back to third, the 70 of Inman. Wolfmeyer, your top four. Down to the white flag this time, one to go for McGuire to Young in that 30 M car with one lap to go. They'll work their way down to turns one and it two. De Young will lead it to the checkered flag in the win as he come off to the North Carolina Jury Queen. And for the win, second will go to the 17 to C of Shane Paris. Third will go to the 7B of Tyler Inman, and fourth will go to the 2M of Reed Wolfbuyer. That rounds out to your top four finishers there in your spot on calibration repair heat race number two for your sport mods. Up next, the local UAW 893 heat race number one of three in your modifieds. And on the pole, oh, this is a hot rod for this. Is, oh, we're going to go stock our heat number one, sorry. 12 heat races coming here for your stock car. Well, six in this session, six in the second session. On the pole, the Bobcat, Jonathan Luke, 69 car. Outside of him, out of Marshalltown, Scotty Rice in the four. Elijah Zevenberger in the 66Z out of Oichita, Iowa. The 21X is Devin Snellenberger out of Pulaski, Wisconsin. Jake McBurney has the inside of row number three out of Boone. The 1X of Caden Carter to the outside. The 20V, it's the Iceman. Dusty Viss inside of row number four. And Chance Pollitz, the six, is on his outside. And your final row is the 77M out of Boone, Iowa. Jeff Mueller, the 99L. That is the crazy 99 out of Malvern, Iowa. Jesse Sobbing. So, 10 cars. Here's how it works. This is the first of six seat races in set number one. They'll come back to the second set after the Mod Light feature. We'll do the second set for soccer heat races. Top 10 in passing points from these two sets of heat races will qualify for tomorrow night's 50 lap, $5,000, $500 start feature event. Basically, you start on the front, you want to stay at the front because otherwise you start going backwards, you start losing points. So you don't want to lose points, you want to gain points. So if you're at the back, this is the perfect time to maximize your score. If you're at the back, watch Mueller, watch Sobbing. Those two cars are going to want to advance to the front and advance their points as well. You can say Viss and Pollitz want to move to the front. Maximize your points. There's a passing point scale. This is off the complete draw. The second set of heat races, you'll notice later on when they come out for the second set of heat race, Ronnie, is a complete invert of the draw. And they'll be matched up with different cars in their heat races. So that'd be kind of cool. If they're on the front now, they'll be on the back. Next time, if they're in the middle, eh, they still stay in the middle next time. That's around. what I that's what I always said. If I was going to start somewhere, I would rather start in the middle because then I could maximize my points twice. You're right there. Kenny's like that don't work. Kenny, it works if you start at the you start at the in the middle, you can maximize your points twice because you can start on the inside and outside. Two by two down the back straight away. We're gonna send them all 10 out there. Now they go nose to tail. They bunch them up in turn three. Pace Pickens in turn four. We are green. 
Green flag is out for heat race number one of your stock car. by local UAW 893. We go down to the corner, number one and two, it's the Bobcat. Jonathan Logue works the middle side of the speedway. He'll hold off Scotty Rice in the four. But here comes Sevenbergen in the 66 Z machine. He tried to get by. Oh, Snelly Snellenberger, Devin Snellenberger in that little 21 X car. He'll now look to the outside of Sevenbergen. It is Logue, Rice, then it is Snelly Snellenberger in the number three spot. Trouble, turn two, one around over there. He's just gonna do a 360 and keep going. So pick up your leader out of turn number four. It is Jonathan Logue, the 69. He is on the point, Scotty Rice, chasing from the number two spot as they hit turns one and two. Schnellenberger, the 21X, still riding third. He's got two cars underneath him now. The battle for third is on. Battle for third is on indeed. And a three wide, actually four wide, for a moment on the exit of turn at number four. It is still Logan, your leader, Rice in second, Snellenberger in third. Four wide coming off of turn number two. It'll be Snellenberger, Zevenbergen, McBurney, Caden Carter, the one X trying to ninja the nose there. We have got eight to go. Four down, eight to go here in heat race number one. Stack them deep and sell them cheap. We've got them all across the track. The 21 now emerges out of that. That is Devin Schnellenberger. Schnellenberger moves up to third. He's going to try to challenge Rice. Rice goes up, Schnellenberger under. We still got four cars together. That's the fight for the number four spot. That time at the line, it was Zevenberger that had it, but he's got three more right behind him. Side by side now for the number two spot. Off of turn number four, they come off the North Rapid Dairy Queen turn number four. It is Jonathan Logue, Devin Snellberger in that 21X machine. The four of Scott Rice, the 82, and Jake McBurney. McBurney wants that number three spot. Here comes Zevenbergen. Zevenbergen going to dip to the outside this time by. We will be one past halfway. Seven down, five laps to go. Zevenberg in the top three. Scotty Rice is under attack. The four car moving the wrong direction. As out in front, Jonathan Logue is there. He's been comfortable the entire heat race, but he's about to be a little uncomfortable. As Schnellenberger, he's reeling in your leader. Off the turn to go. It is Logue, your leader, in that car number 69. The 21X is Schnellenberger sits in that second spot. Sevenberger in third. McBurney fourth. Caden Carter fifth. Here comes Chance Hollis the sixth. Scotty Rice in the four. This time by nine down and three to go. And there's 12 laps. Stock car heat race. Business is picking up at the front. Logue has enjoyed the view so far all through this one. But the 21X, Schnellenberger trying to change that. They'll take it around the bottom of turn number four. Logue, Schnellenberger. Third place is going to be Sevenberger. Logue, your leader off at turn number two. Snellenberger in second. Hotla or sorry, Sevenberger in third. Then it is 82. Jimmy Bernie. He'll dip to the inside. White flag out. One to go, says the Shermanator. And it's been all the Bobcat. Jonathan Logue, your leader in that number one spot. Logue trying to close this one out. He turns and burns out of two down the back straight away. He's got two more left-handers. Logue takes it right down around the bottom. The 69 going to bring him to the line. Give the win to Jonathan Logue. Devin Schnellenberger, the 21X, followed by the 66Z of Elijah Zevenbergen. And that, of course, was your local UAW 893 heat race number one. And that win goes to the 69, the Bobcat, and Jonathan Logue. Can, can we request in the next one not to have the two burger names both in there back to back? Heat race number two on the pole from St. Peter, Minnesota, the 18X. That is Dan El Daniel Ekblad. Outside of him, out of Cedar Rapids in the one is Caden Reynolds. Tanner Allen out of Springville, Iowa. The 22 inside, Rod Schnellenberger, the 45 to the outside. Row three on the inside, the 71 from Wilton, Iowa, David Brady is in the 17 out of Bedford, making the jump from the hobby stock into a stock car this year. That is a Luke Ramsey. Ricky Alvarado out of Colorado, the WW1 inside row number 
four, and on the outside, it's Derek Green. And your final starter, they're 24-H of Presley Harrington out of Oshkosh, Wisconsin. We are green off of four, 12 laps in distance. They hurry and scurry on into the Precision Inc. Science turn number one. Come down off of turn number two, the track side report by Foxman. Turn two, it'll be Kaden Reynolds in the one. Daniel Eck by the 18X sitting in second. Here comes the 71 of uh, Ian Brandy's in the third spot. Your leader, lap number one, is Kaden Reynolds in the one. Reynolds out in front by two as they head out of turn two into the back straightaway. Ekblad is in that second spot. Schnellenberger third. Brandy's came across four. Your leader works out of turn four into the front straightaway. It is Kaden Reynolds. Reynolds in the KR1 leading the way. Ekblad in second. In third right now is the battle between Derek Green in that 32. In the WW1, a Ricky Alvarado from Arvado, Colorado as a Alvarado looks to the inside of a Green for third. It'll be Green in the third spot. In the second, or in the fourth spot right now is Alvarado. And then you've got Harrington in the 24-H and Rod Snellberg in a pair of Wisconsinites racing side by side for fifth. Ekblad right in the tire tracks of your leader, Reynolds. Those two, the battle goes on through turns one and two. Reynolds out in front, Ekblad stalking him from the number two spot, looking, waiting, wanting the opportunity. Not that time, out of turn four, still Reynolds on the point. Five down, seven to go. Reynolds in that one car, trying to hold that bottom lane. Ekblad in the 18X sitting right there. Last time he was just about a half a second behind of Reynolds. Ekblad gets closer and closer, down in three and four. They'll come off of the north and out of Yuri Queen. Turn number four, halfway home, six down and six to go. It is down to just about four tenths of a second. Does Ekblad have time? We got still got about five and a half laps to go, Rodney. Oh, that's a lot of time for no more distance than there is between them. Here comes your leader. Kanan Reynolds, wheels and deals down the front straightaway. He can't shake the 18X of Ekblad. Ekblad again pulls up to the back bumper. He has a good view down the back straightaway, but Reynolds still on the front. Reynolds still leading it in that second spot is Ekblad. Ekblad gets a solid run down in turn two. And the 22 of Tanner Allen, a flat right rear tire on that machine. Thought I smelled a burning tire, and it's her idea. This burning Hoosier tire is never a good smell. As Reynolds, your leader, in second is Ekblad. They'll come off the turn this time. Nine down, three to go for your race leader in the KR1. That is Kaden Reynolds. Reynolds trying to take this one flag to flag. He has enjoyed it so far. He's got about four car links now back to Ekblad. He's dropped off just a bit. Maybe he's gonna regroup and charge again. We've got one around over at one. He keeps on rolling, two to go. Two laps to go. Reynolds in that one, and in second is Ekblad. Ekblad can get Reynolds in the corners, get literally up to his back bumper, just can't do it on the straightaways. Off of turn number four, the white flag is out, says the Shermanator. We got one lap to go. It's Reynolds, it's Ekblad. That is the closest Ekblad's been all race. He might be out of time though. They go down the back here for the final time. Half a lap to go. Reynolds trying to hold him off. One more shot for Ekblad. They take the same line out of turn four. This one's going to belong to your driver out of Cedar Rapids, Caden Reynolds. To the line. Ekblad right on the back bumper, finishing in the number two spot. And Derek Green, the 32, he's your third place car. Uh, heat Race, of course, presented by IBW Local 204. Our next up is the Independent Auto Heat Race number three of your stock cars on the pole. It's the General from Iowa Falls, it's Troy Jerevitz, and outside of him, out of Denmark, Wisconsin, the 21CZ, that is Cole Sarnaski. Mitchell Evans, the AD, is inside row number two, and Abe Holes from Carthage, Illinois, the 30C. 38T, Dylan Thornton out of Orcutt, California, and outside of him in the 25J from Blanchard, Oregon, is Danny Kavinga. From Sobeski, Wisconsin, the 12X, that's Nick Buckema there inside at Pro 4. Braxton Frank, Cedar Rapids, the 8 car. And your final starter in the 72H out of Menlo, Iowa, it's the Flying Bomb Pop, Makaya Heidelbaugh. One of the coolest nicknames ever, the Flying Bomb Pop. 
That is a very colorful car we walk by it down in the pits. It just jumps out of there at you. It's a number that if you have to hand score, you can see it. Well, we've got them two by two. We're going to roll them around and look to the stand. Here we go. Great flag is out here in your independent auto heat race number three for your Korea Automotive and Truck up here. I am Chase Stock Cars, and it's the general Troy Jitterman trying to work the bottom side of the speedway. Cole Sarnaski, the 21CZ, runs in that second spot. Abe holes in the third in the 30C. And then it is that eight of Braxton Frank, or sorry, the eight uh, E of Mitchell Evans running side by side with Danny Kavinga in the 25J. But right now, your leader is the general, Troy Jerevitz. Jerevitz takes him down the back straightaway. The zero one in the one spot. His company on the back bumper, that is Sarnesky. He's having a look from the two spot. Now up to the high side. Here comes the 38T. Dylan Thornton throws his hat in the ring. Troy Jerevitz, your leader. Cole Sarnesky second. Dylan Thornton the 38T. Now into third. Abe Holes at 30C sits in fourth, and around goes Edie and Mitchell Evans. Everybody gets by him deep on the field, though. Here comes the bomb pop, Micaiah Heidemann. He just got by a trio of cars. Well, four if you count the one who's still sitting over there. And the yellow is out. The yellow is out. That mid-state boring it brings out the caution. So mid-state boring is our sponsor for this caution flag here on uh, the speedway. But... Uh, Mitchell Evans lost it all on his own over there. I don't even need a replay to see that one. I saw that one with my own eyes. But around he went over there. In at turn numbers three and four of the Toby K side away. He must have heard Toby K had some good food and had to turn around and found out the dilly bars were up and too, so I had to go get some dilly bars. He was caught kind of right in between supper and dessert there. I wasn't sure which way to go with that. I'm telling you what, even though the wind is out here, I would still take a Buster Bar or a dilly bar. Man, that is hardcore, I tell you. Hey, ice cream is good at any time of the... No! Hot chocolate do not count. I want a Buster Bar or a Dilly Bar. No! Just a Buster Bar and Dilly Bar. I'll eat the dang... I'll... I love eating ice cream in the cold. I'm an ice cream eater that will eat ice cream all year long, especially in the cold. I'm already cold at that point, so what makes a difference? Plus, uh, I, I kept getting, you know, I had to keep plugging North Route and Jerry Queen last week, and Tyler was watching at home. I know he's in the pit area tonight, so he'll probably go, ah, you plugged it enough. He felt like he was targeted last week, so I, that wasn't targeting, but, you know. Good kind of targeting. Yeah. All right, lights down. We're about to go back to it. Jerovitz, the 0-1. He's going to go to the gas pedal first. He brings it down across the corner four into the front straightaway. Four. He'll size him up from the number two spot. Thornton's going to go to the high side. He's been making that work. Jerovitz, not so much. He's down a little lower. Yeah, we are back to the green flag, and they'll come through three and four this time. It'll complete lap number four. So four down, eight to go. It's a general Troy Jerovitz, your leader, but how much longer? Because Dylan Thornton running that middle lane on the racetrack and just about a lane and a half higher than Jerovitz. If Jerovitz doesn't know, the 38T is working the higher side of the speedway. He may know soon enough, as this time by, five down to seven to go. The general still works the bottom. Thornton works the inside. It was .062 that time at the line. He knows he's there now. He's got a good look of the 38T. They stay high and low as they work for Jeremy's the bottom. Thornton the top side. T Thornton this time, he wins the drag race to the line. Oh, the general refusing to come up off the bottom. He gets passed by Dylan Thornton in the 38T. Now, the general can get him off of turn number two, but Thornton is a good and strong all in the exit of turn number four. They'll come by this time. Seven down, five to go. It is Thornton. It is Jervitz, one, two. Then it is Sarneski. Then it's Holes. Then Heidemann in the 72H, and then it's Buckarama in the 12X, Danny Kavinga, the 25, Jay Braxton Franks, Mitchell Evans right out your field. Four to go this time, eight down, four to go for Dylan Thornton in the 38T. Thornton now has found the front and pulls away. Thornton, he's got a gap of about eight. Jarvitt's gonna take it to the bottom and try to reel him in, but Thornton's just too strong out of four down the front straightaway. 
He better go. Sarneski is coming on Jerovitz. You're going to have a battle for second coming up. Battle is on for that second spot now. Also got a battle back there for fourth. The quick peek back there in that spot. This time by the green goes high in the air. Two to go for Dylan Thornton. Battle on for second. Jerovitz still working the bottom. Sarneski says, I saw Thornton go this lane. I'm going to go that lane. I'm going to make it work down the back straightaway. It's still Jerovitz with the advantage for second. Sarneski in third. The battle goes for two and three. We got one to go for Dylan Thornton in 38 One more time around. Jerovitz again. He is stuck on that bottom. Up the lane above him. Sarneski's got him sized up down the back straightaway. They're going to hit three and four together. Who's going to bring it off the corner four down the front straightaway? Sarneski on the outside going to get there for the two spot. So Dylan Thornton, the 38T, gets out in front and checks out. Sarneski out of the last corner, the 21CZ finishing second. And Troy Jervitz, the general, He'll have to settle for third. Heat race number four coming up, presented by RBF Electric on the pole. C29 out of Marshalltown is Garrett Korn. Outside of him out of Beaver Dam, Wisconsin is a 20S. This is Brandon Schmidt. Inside row two, the 26H, Joel Rust out of Grundy Center. And Brayden Richard, driver out of Madrid, the 11R. Row number three, well, a pair of veterans. One is in his 40th year of automobile racing. The car number three from Fertile, Iowa is Kelly Schrock. Outside of him, the Chelsea Charger from Chelsea, Iowa in the 99D, Damon Murdy. Hey, Amy's favorite drivers inside row number four. That is Austin Kaplan out of Collins, the A1A. And Tommy Fain, the 90.5 out of Abilene, Texas. And your final starter out of Hamburg, Minnesota. The car number 92 is Deanna. Mack and Tuna. That is how it's going to line up for your RVF Electric Heat Race number four here for your Drury Automotive and the Truck Repair IMC Stock Cars for your King of the High Banks. We are green off of four for 12. The pack takes it down through one and two. Everybody looking for real estate. Out in front, it is corn. He'll show the way, three and four this time. Oh, it's talked to the bumper already. Slide job put on, Corn crosses over. It is Corn at the line, rust underneath. Corn plowing his way into the front. He's still up in the top spot, but he gets passed by that 11 R machine of Brandon Richards. Richards' transponder not working. He's right now running in that second spot. In third, the Chelsea Charger, Demon Murdy, the 99D, able to get by Brandon Schmidt and the 20S machine. As they come off a of turn at number four, we've got a pair, of, or, or come off a of turn two. Pair around over there, Tommy Fain in the 90.5, and the 92 Dan McIntyre. McIntyre able to get going. Fain and the move. We're going to stay green on the racetrack. Battles on for the lead. Gordon Richards side by side, and you got it. Corn will take the top spot, but this slides up the racetrack. Lap car of Fane gives the lead to Richards down the back straightaway. Here comes Corn with the slider off of turn number four. Races on for the lead, Rodney. It will be Richards at the line of the 11 R. Corn got caught behind the slower car. He is now trying to come from second back to the front, but he's about to be gobbled up. The 99D of Murdy. Murdy's gonna go underneath. You know the bumper's coming out of four. Murdy cuts across the nose. It is Murdy in the three spot. Corn second. Shryock underneath on the very bottom. KFJB 1230 FM and 93.9 on the, actually on the FM dial, 1230 on the AM dial. Caution flag is out. That French racer Jacques Debris showed up. We thought we could go a week without him, but he showed up tonight. Rodney, he apparently didn't get the memo. It's too cold here in Iowa. You need to stay away. Jacques showed up again. Pastor Kenny, you're wimping out. He, he's tagging out. He says, I'm good. He said they'll be here tomorrow. <laughs> well, Braden Richards, the 11R out of Madrid, he worked his way underneath, got an opportunity, and put that car on the point.
Garrett Korn and the C29. Bit of a bad break out of turn two. The car slid up, first of all, and then to compound the problem, there was a car in front of him up there. Yeah, this is going to be interesting here as we get ready to go back to green flag as we've got uh, five down, seven to go. So confusing that we're going 12 lap beat races in the stock cars, but that's part of the passing point system here that we're going to go with here tonight. So, Brandon Richards is your leader in the 11R. If you're watching live timing and scoring, it doesn't say that, but his transponder is not working. The 11R is your leader. Get a C29, Garrett Corn, 99D, David Murdy, the 3 of Kelly Schrock, then it's 2016, Joel Russ, the 20S of Brandon Schmidt. We are back to green off of four, seven laps to go. The field right down on that tire at the bottom of turn number four. It is Richards not leaving an opportunity. Here comes Murdy. Murdy the 99D. He's working up. Oh, he's underneath. He's trying to stick it in there. You've got the bottom. Shryock is there. Oh, boy. Kelly Shryock in the three works the bottom. Demon Murdy the 99D says, hey, you went by me on the bottom. I'm going to sneak into the nose to the inside. Triax shuts the door down at the three and four. The Dilly Bars are lining up off of four. It'll be Triax, Murdy, Richards, Korn, then Rust the 26J. We got five laps to go. Murdy now goes to the high side of turns one and two. He's going to take it into three and four as well. Shryock's running the bottom. Murdy the top side. Shryock moves up to block him down the front straightaway. Shryock, your leader on the bottom side, but Damon Murdy, the 99D on the high side. Imagine that, Murdy on the high side, the 99D. Here he comes to Khan, works the top shelf. Russ dips to the inside of Richards for the third spot. Off of turn number four, three to go. Contact on the front straightaway between Shryock and Murdy. Shryock tried to shut the door. Murdy was having none of it. But he slips up in two, does Murdy, so that gives it up. Murdy, flat tire. The exchange in the front straightaway is going to do in the 99D. Two to go for Kelly. Shryock, unfortunately, tough break for the Chelsea tire. Damon Murdy, rough rear tire. went down on that one after the contact with Shryock. But right now, it is Joel Rost into second. Richards into third. Fourth right now is Garrett Korn in the C29. White flag is out, one to go, Rodney, here at heat race number four. One more time around, Shryock coming from the number five starting spot. He's now in the number one spot as he puts that three car into the final two left-hand turns. He'll pedal it off turn four, checkered flag at the line. Kelly Shryock is gonna get there. Joel Rust in the number two spot. Hang it on there for third. Braden Richards, the 11R. Heat race number five. Your kicks on a 1.1 Iowa's best country. Heat race number five. On the pole will be the V31 from Warren, Iowa. Oh, the Van, e Van Eaton Mafia is going to be happy as Todd Van Eaton in the V31. And outside of Todd will be the Ford Jr. from Sumner. And that's Russell Damey Jr. In row number two, the 4TW, yep, Tim Ward. He'll move into the stock cars for this one. Buck Shafroff, the 92X to his outside. T-Drub is driving the normal Jay Schmidt ride there in the uh, in the 4TW car. Uh, inside row number three will be the two. It's Dave Atcher, the flying deuce from Laurel. And outside of him from Laurel Cross, Wisconsin, the 34 Junior, that is Sean Claps Junior. Jimmy Gustin, the 19, is inside row four. And Jeffrey Abbey, Boyd, Texas, the 137 to the outside. Jeffrey Abbey was last year's featured winner here in the King of the High Banks. Took home that $5,000 back to Texas. Final start. It's the 11X. That is the Daily Bar Special. That is TBJ Tom Barry Jr. Green flag is out off of four. Here we go. Down off of turn two would be Todd Van Eaton in the V31. Buck Shafroff, the 92, side by side with Tim Ward. Tim driving the uh, 14W, although it's 19J, still technically on that car, but it's the 31 of Van Eaton. The 92 is Shafroff, then T Dub, and Tim Ward in the 19J. The news Dave Batcher, and here comes Jeffrey Abbey in the 137, now to the top five. Van Eaton is out in front, the V31 is there. The 92 now chases in second, that is Buck Shafroth, the 92X. You got T-Dub after that. 
And then now moving up, it's Atcher. Dave Atcher, the deuce, is on the bottom. He's looking to move up a spot. Off a turn number four is the eight year leader, Jeff Roth. Ward, Atcher in the two. Then it is Abby, the 137. Jimmy Gust in the 19. Then it's TBJ Tom Berry Jr., the 11X. Right now, the battle's on for third, fourth, and fifth on the speedway. T-Dub's got it. Atcher and Abby wants it. They're gonna put the nose there. Right now, it'll be Atcher looking to the inside. Of Tim Ward, here comes Abby, the 137. Three wide for third. Down the front straightaway. They are still running the V3-1 of Van Eaton. Shafroth, but oh, he is under attack. We've got one around in turn two. 34 Junior, Sean Claps Junior, apparently heard about the tracks on report by Foxman, so he wanted to go off to turn two. Want to get a closer look at it. Couldn't quite read it as he went by. Hey, on the track that I put by Foxman, I do say, I, I, I run that Facebook page, it's all by myself. The one-man band, I uh, try to post a weekly racing schedule for all the week, all the racing events going on across Iowa, across, uh, well, Illinois. I can do some Illinois tracks and also some uh, Wisconsin, Nebraska, and Missouri tracks, so you can find a lot of a weekly schedule there on the tracks that I put by Foxman on Facebook. A little shameless plug, I guess. Hey, and if you ever need announcing duties, I heard you can call Tomlinson announcing. Rodney will book you up on a schedule. The oh so busy schedule, right, Rodney? Sure, see what I can do. They're gonna stay yellow one more time around. Of course, speaking of my friend Chris Myler, tomorrow's his birthday. He'll be 42 tomorrow. So happy early birthday to Mr. Chris Byler up in Michigan. Okay, had to break down, add another layer. You're gonna be out of layers after a while. I am toughing this out. I'm gonna try to wait to put that sweatshirt on. I mean, I already got two long sleeve shirts on, so, I mean, the sweatshirt's the last resort. Brina's out, here we go. Down into one and two, another time. It is Van Eaton, Shafroth. That is first and second, T-Dub is there. He's got Jeffrey Abbey, the 137 on the bottom. You got him side by side. Off of turn number four, it's still tied for eight year later, but now Shafroff's got company as the 19 and J, aka the T-Dub for TW car. Looks to the outside, got a trunk lift in the back straightaway. And we're gonna try to stay green. Oh. Too far out, so Jerry's gonna say yellow on the racetrack. Jerry was gonna try to run out there and get it, but uh, I think he's, I think his days of running is not so good. He's getting older, though. He, he thought better of it. Uh, the more he, he got about halfway out there to get that piece of debris off the racetrack and uh, had to call for a yellow. That's what you call a quick uh, there. I can tell you if that was a, this fat guy, it ain't happening. I'm calling for the yellow. <laughs> That caution was presented by Velocita. Velocita, great racing suit. So uh, you can get your uh, gloves, helmet, or your gloves, uh, racing suit from Velocita. They're a great uh, sponsor. The previous caution was sponsored by ENL Professional Power Washing. It's a great power, professional power washing. You can see the crew is from ELH Power Washing. So we're getting ready to go back to green. A seven down, five laps to go here in your Kicks 101.1 Iowa's Best Country. Heat race number five of the stock car. First of five of the first set of six heat race events. It will be Van Eaton leading back to the green off of four. The V31 takes him down into turns one and two. Shafroth sizes him up the 92X to the bottom. Now Abby goes underneath TW. He finally found an opening. Here comes the 137 of Abby. He's got a good look off turn four. He's got third for now. Oh, it's Vinny. Here later, Shafroth in second. Abby now 
dips his nose into that third spot, putting Tita back to fourth. The jammer, Jimmy Gustin, in the 19 now works to the inside of the deuce, Dave Atcher. As Shafroff slides upstairs, Abby who takes the second spot away. Shafroff gonna look back to the inside there of Abby. Abby who shut the door. Shafroff trying to throw it deep into the corner. Can't get it done. Todd Van Eaton in the V31. He is still out front. This time by two to go. Says this distributor on the flag stand. Van Eaton hanging on to the lead through one and two. Abby working the bottom. That 137 working well right around there. He's clear now in the number two spot. Shafroth is sitting third. He's got pressure from T Dub. Here they come. White flag is out. White flag out, one to go. As T Dub, Tim Warren has got a battle there with Shafroth in the 92. The jammer, Jimmy Gus in the 19, sits looming right behind him. They're going down the back straightaway for the final time. Come to turn three and four. Off of turn number four, it will be. The V31 and Todd Van Eaton, your winner, Jeffrey Abbey, comes on second, Shafroff in third. Then it is teed up, Tim Ward, Jimmy Gustin, Dave Atcher, TBJ Tom Berry Jr., then Sean Clapson, Russell Damey Jr. rounding out your field there, and he race number five, it goes to the V31 and Todd Van Eaton. It is time for the Carl Chevrolet heat race number six. And it's going to look like this. Todd Wright through the 22R from Grinnell to the outside. Gage Neal to the inside. He's from Anamosa, the row, 12 in. Row number two on the inside of the 94. It's Grundy Center, Steve Meyer. And outside of him, out of Kellogg. In the 93 is Michael Janage. Mike Clins out of West Bend, Wisconsin, the 77X and the 99X. Oh, it's the game changer, Dallin Murdy. Row number four on the inside will be the 1S. That is Wes Alice from Wisconsin's Charlie Shinetti. And outside of him in the 21D from Iowa Falls, Daniel Drury. And the final start of the 5A from Boone, Tyler Pickett. We're ready to go. 12 laps of distance here in heat race number six of six in the first set of Stock Car Heats. Pace quickens in turn four. They go to the gas pedal. We are green flag down the front straightaway. Reitzler, the 22R, trying to protect the bottom side. Company up on the high side, that is Neil. He'll move up alongside and take a look. He's gonna go top side. Jeanette looking to go right through the middle. Back here, lap one. Oh, the top side did it. The 12 in is there. That is Gage Neal. Oh, right now it's Gage Neal, the 12 in your leader. Todd Reitzer in second, Michael Jeanette in third. Here comes the game changer, Dallin Murdy to the 99X. He'll work to the high side. Jeanette works the bottom. Jeanette's going to look to slide upstairs and take the spot away from Reitzer. No, Reitzer will hang on to second. Murdy now going to go right in the middle. Now he'll do the crossover, looks to the inside of Jeanette on the exit of turn number two. Give the number two spot right now to the game changer, Dallin Murdy, the 99X. Jeanette now in the third, Reitzer back to four. Your car out in front, the 12 in, Gage Neal, out of two, down the back, straight away. Murdy has that 99X sitting in the two spot. Jeanette throws it to the bottom. He's going to try to slide up across. He's got the three spot in front of Reitzler as they head down Meyer after that. Ah, oh, they'll go down into turn one and two right now. It is that 12 in of Gage Neal, your leader. 99X of Dallin Murdy sits in second. Michael Jeanette in third. Todd Reitzer in fourth. Then it is 94 Steve Meyer. Then it is Shinetti, Drury, Pickett. And then it is that 77X of Michael Clintz. Down the back straightaway. You got a race is on for the lead. Give it to Dallin Murdy. Gage Neal now works the highest side off of turn number four. Six down, six to go. Your leader is the game changer, Dallin Murdy. Murdy takes the 99X to the point. Now Neal tries to tuck back under him. Nothing doing. Murdy down the back straight away. Neal, then it's Jeanette sitting in the three spot. Four is Reitzler. Here comes your leader, the game changer. Gonna bring him back to the line. Oh, the game changer leads him back to the line that time with five to go. It is the game changer, followed by Gage Neal. Then it's Michael, Jeanette, Steve Meyer around over in turn number two. We'll see if he gets it going. Still sitting over there, and it looks like yellow is out. So the caution getting ready to come out. That caution brought to you by Carl Customs. 
For parts and accessories, she's a great crew from Carl Customs. Meyer parked in the no parking zone in turn number two. Well, that's where a, car, where a driver sits there and waits for the caution, and the caution comes out, and it's just as they're getting ready to go, the caution, he gets moving. Imagine that. Well, unfortunately, he's going to be moving on pit side, I believe. It's like it's like trying to time the uh, pitch out in a, from a pitcher and trying to steal second base. Caution light is off. We're ready to go back to, green, to the 141 speedway. Green flag as they get ready to come off of turn number four. Four laps to go. Eight down, four to go. And the game changer leads us back to green. Uh, Talon Murdy working around the low side of turns one and two. Now he pulls away by three car lengths. Murdy. Here comes Jeanette. Jeanette's got the 93 doing the bottom boogie. He comes around into the front straight away. He's got the three spot there. It is Neil still running second. Dallin Murdy, the 99 on extra leader. Then it is a 12 minute gauge. Neil sitting in that second spot. Michael Jeanette in third, Wrights are fourth. And it is Charlie Shinetti in the fifth spot. This time by the green's gonna go high in the air. Two to go for the game changer. Neil, Jeanette, Reitzler, and then Shinetti and Pickett into 5A rounds out your top six. Oh, trouble over in turn two. You got one around. Watch your leader out of turn four. White flag is in hand for Dallin Murdy. We're going to get it. Stay. Here we go. One to go. Murdy is there. Neil in the two spot. Jerry able to keep that moving in then at car number 21D. But off of turn three and four for the final time, it will be the 99X of Dallin Murdy. The 12 in of Gates Neal, the 93 of Michael Jeanette, the 22R. Then it is Shinetti. Then it is Tyler Pickett. And the 94, Steve Meyer, Daniel Drury, the 21D. Your winner, though, the 99X. All right, you're ready for your Martin Marietta Heat Race number seven. Jesse Sabi. No, 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 no. no. Oh, oh no, that's right. We're doing six and six. Sorry, I got ahead of myself. Modified Heat Races now. First of three in your Modified Heat Races. And on the pole will be the 26J. That is Joel Rust. Outside of him will be the 11X. That'll be TBJ Tom Berry Jr. What a, what a front row there. Kelly Shryock then follows that up along with Zach Rollins back in row two. Row number three will be the 90M. That is Ethan Broxma in the 90M out of Newton, Iowa. And outside of him, the 75 from Webster City is Greg Elliott. Matt Clins out of West Bend, Wisconsin. The 18K is inside row four. And Jake McBurney, the 82 to the outside. And for the final row, will be the 20 of Brandon Schmidt out of Hooper Dam, Wisconsin. And the 18 to JT out of Chandler, Arizona. That's Jeremy Thornton. You talk about a loaded heat race. Holy cow. Yeah, yeah. I look at the I, I just looked at the front row and I announced the front row and you had Rust and Barry. Then I saw Shryock in the second row. Then you got Broxma back there and in a different race car tonight. But Broxma sitting back there in row number three. Jake McBurney in the eighty two. This is gonna be a heat race, Rodney. And it is a fast shafts all star qualifier. It qualifies him for the fast shaft. Well, we'll get him a chance to qualify for the fast shafts all star invitational at the Super Nationals in Boone in September. Feels a bit like September. Well, hey, we're here in April. Imagine what it's gonna feel like when we're here in October. And so for those of you that don't know, tell them why we're gonna be here in October. Well, the World Nationals, number we have in September, is moving to, well, just the, before Halloween in late October, October 24th, 25th, and the 26th. It'll be the hustle on the high banks. The harvest hustle on the high banks. Triple H. I think I think Jerry just likes to come up with some names for a races just because he doesn't have to announce them. We have to. But as I say, where you can catch all the racing action if you're not here at the racetrack, tune into Flow Racing. They've got every one of our races here at the Marshalltown Speedway. So if you're looking for some entertainment on Friday night or even on a Thursday night like tonight, and even in, a, I think, like the second week in May, we got a Thursday night Thunder special going on as well. And uh, you can tune into Flow Racing. Any time we're racing here at Marshalltown, we are on Flow. May 9th, I believe, is that Thursday night thunder, little special night there. 
It, 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 and I'm gonna, I'm gonna be, I'm probably gonna, it's probably gonna be a safe bet. But that night is sponsored by Kicks One One Point One, so I'm gonna guess there might be chances to win some tickets to those nights of races. Hey, Nate's finally getting cold. He's turning the space heater on over here. Nate's like, I've had enough. I'm getting cold. I gotta turn the space heater on. Hey, Nate, it doesn't look like want to turn on right. Oh, uh, he said it's too windy, so he can't warm up that way with the space heater. Oh, oh that's a darn shame. It's perfect. You know, the concession stand area is always open. We've got some great food back there at the Speedway Diner. You can stop back there. Like this year, we've got the Iowa Corn Nuggets as well. And also got Wisconsin Cheese Curds. Those were indeed good. We tried those before the race. Yeah, I know. Night. I ended up happening more than I wanted to. You brought it up here, and you're like, here, I got us some cheese curds. And next thing I know, I'm finishing off the, the cup of cheese curds. So They must have been okay. They disappeared. Yeah. Normally, I don't eat when I'm at the races until after the races are over. So. Also, do got to give a shout out to the birthday girl, Kelsey Saunders. She's watching at home. So happy birthday to Kelsey. I don't think she'll just let me tell her her age, but she's 36 today. Well, good thing you didn't mention that then. Now I'm gonna get a message that's saying, I'm gonna kick your butt next time I see ya. Oh, my buddy from Pennsylvania, Ken Wormuth. He's at home watching in Pennsylvania, probably in the recliner. He had to work at Walmart. He works at Walmart out there. We always give him grief about working at Walmart, but he's got tomorrow off, so he said he's going to tune in to watch Flow tonight and tomorrow. He's watching in his recliner at home. So, hi, Ken. Sounds like a nice, warm, comfortable spot to be. I know, the recliner. I'm kind of disappointed. Hey, 50-50 tickets down in front if you want to get in on it. Probably the best odds you'll ever have. Rolling that top side just a bit. Put some water up there. Going to try to work that in. Again, it'll be another full show tomorrow night. We'll crown our King of the High Banks champion and a full show for everybody else. So back on our regular night, Friday night. Yep, tomorrow will be last chance races in our stock cars. As those will be those will be set after we get the, the points from the second set of heat races. And that the second set of stock car heats will come after the mod light feature event. But We'll know who the 10 drivers are advancing on tomorrow night's 50 lap big dance. 11th on back, we'll go to last chance heat races. We'll run five last chance heat races tomorrow. Take an excellent amount of cars out of those last chance heat races to the A main. Some cars, I'm not sure how many uh, last chance uh, B mains we're gonna run tomorrow, but if we run one, we'll take four. If we run two, we'll run, we'll take Two out of each of those, and that will get us to 24 cars for 50 laps and $5,000 to win. $500 to start the feature event tomorrow night for the stock cars. And as I mentioned, Jeffrey Abbey took home the money last year. So the Iowa boys are hoping that someone keeps the money in state, not take it away. Trying to keep that right here, more in the local area. But uh, they're going to have their hands full. we got a bunch of great drivers here. They all want to take it home. 
And I know one stock car driver that's not here is Kylie Rollins. She's at home. She got a little ill today, so hope Kylie gets a little feeling a little better. She's watching at home. She says she might come out tomorrow, but not bring the race car and just come out and watch tomorrow. So hope you get the feeling better, Kylie. All right. It's Rust, then Barry, Shryock, Rollins, Broxma, Elliott, Clint, McBurney, Schmidt, and Jeremy Thornton. We're going to ready to go green here in your joyous seating modified heat race number one. TBJ goes to the high side, kicks it up out of two and into the back straight away. Joel Russ now, he'll fall in behind him in the number two spot as they work their way back, lap number one. TBJ, Russ, and Shryon. Around two into the back straight away. Tom Barry Jr. pulls away early. Rust in the two spot, then Shryock running third. Then it is Broxma, the 90.5. He's in the four spot. We've got two laps in. Right now up front it is a TBJ, Tom Barry Jr. in his normal 11X car. Sits in that second spot. Here comes the 90 and that is Ethan Broxma. Runs in the second spot. We got a pair over there in turn number one and two. And stay green on the racetrack. How do you do? We stay green. Green indeed. Here comes your leader into the front straightaway, Tom Barry Jr. He's trying to check out on this very stacked field. He's out of two and into the back straightaway. Broxma, he's doing some chasing. Shryock is there in third. Then it is Joel Russ back to the four spot as they make their way down the front chute. TBJ, Tom Barry Jr. 11X in that number one spot. Broxma in second. Shryock in third in the three car. Then it is Joel Russ, the 26J. Then it is Zach Rollins, the 2Z, and Jeremy Thornton in the 18 at JT. In that final transfer spot, top seven go to the A. Everybody else goes to a B. As we've got two to go for TBJ off of two. Tom Barry Jr. He has got a wide margin out in front. Second place. That is Broxma, Shryock, and Rust. Now Rust tries to take a peek underneath Shryock as they work their way around one and two. That's your battle on the track for third. Shryock and Broxma, or Shryock and Rust. Checkered flag is there, TBJ. Broxma into the two spot. Shryock will hang on for third. So your winner there in the joyous seating heat race number one was TBJ Tom Bear Jr. Up next will be the Tom Kemp Foreman seat race number two for your dirt tire demon by left half IMC Modifieds. On the pole, the 28 of the Carmen Mill of California. That is Trevor Fitz. And in the inside, the 22B from Ogden, Brian Epper. Hey, we've already had him out here once tonight. Cole Sarneski, the 21CZ, is inside the next row. And his company, the WW1, Ricky Alvo. Alvarado. Road number three will be the 12. That is Cody Overton out of Thompson, Georgia. And the 29 from Devonport, Iowa, Spencer Dirks. Jared Timmerman out of Norwalk is the seven plus car inside row four. And Jacob Snyder, Dunkerton, Iowa driver, the 98 to the outside. Actually, the seven plus is pronounced the Chevin Chevrolet. If you look on the side of the car, there's a Chevrolet logo. The final row on the inside will be the 72B of Jared Ballhagen from Parkersburg. The 19S is Chase Weimer from Eldora. All the way, by the way, Jacob Snyder turned 18 yesterday in car number 98, so he is 18 years old. And we're going to go one more time around. So trying to throw everything out. I, I'm, I'm serious. When you temperament comes by, look at the side of his car. It's not just 7T. It is the 7 Chevrolet. So it is. A little shout out to the debate of Chevrolet or Fords. Although the number's white and the Chevy logo's blue on a black car, so eh. Although if you go and have the debate with Andy Peck, you better be ready to lose that battle if you want to uh, support Chevy. Don't do you, it. <laughs> don't that's going to be the advice it. there. Caution light is off. We're ready to go. Eight laps. It is. It's here in your Tom Cap performance. IMC Modified. Heat race number two. Green means go, and go they do. They're three, four wide. The 
first time through turn number two. Everybody wheeling and dealing, looking for an opportunity. Here they come out of turn number four. They're back to the line the first time. It is the 20. Your leader is at 28 offense off of turn two. In second is Overton in the 12. Then it is the 21cc, uh, 21cc machine of Cole Sarnowski. Then it is the WW1 of Ricky Alvarado, the 29 of Dirks, the 22B of Pepper, the 98 of Snyder. Right now running on the speedway, but up front right now is Trevor Fitz in the 28. In second right now, Cody Overton in the car number 12. Your top two is this time by. We've got three down, five laps to go. Trevor Fitz, your point car. He's not showing up on my race pass, but he's showing up on the track. He is out in front and pulling away. Overton running second. Sarneski is back there. Fatlin, you've got him up for the number three spot. Overton, your leader. Darfai Fitz in that 28 year leader. Overton sits in that second spot. Sarneski is sitting in third. Dirks now go to the four spot. Alvarado in the fifth. The battle's off for fourth and fifth on the speedaway. As they come off of turn number four with three to go, it'll be Dirks in that third or fourth spot. Fifth is Alvarado. Now Sarneski looks at the inside as Overton goes upstairs. Sarneski now to second, Overton back to third. The door opened and Sarneski stepped right on through. He is in the two spot now. He'll bump Overton back to third, but out in front. Still continuing, Trevor Fitz. He's got almost a full straightaway on the field. Off of turn number four, the white flag out, one to go from Jamie Sherman on the flag stand. Every Fitz, your leader, Sarnaski second. In third, Overton fourth is Alvarado. Right there is Dirks on the inside. That's a battle side by side. Alvarado has the advantage off of two. Dirks has the advantage off of three. To the checkered flag, it will be the 28 of Trevor Fitz. Second will go to the 21 ZZ of Cole Sarneski. And it's Cody Overton, Ricky Alvarado, Spencer Dirks, Jacob Snyder, Chase Weimer, Ryan Eppert. Then it is the seven Chevrolet of Jared Timmerman and the 72B of Jared Ballhagen running out to your finish there in your Tomcat Florence heat race number two. Up next is your Elmquist Towing heat race number three for your modifieds. And on the pool in our Lakewood, Colorado, it is Trip Gaylord in the 77T and out of Norwalk in the five. It's Toddzilla, Todd and shoot. Isaac Malico out of Boone's 11 inside row two. And Zachary Madrid, the 5M from Phoenix to his outside. Inside number three, it's the boss out of Eldora, Iowa, the 38C of Kelly Dreary. And outside, it is the Flying Minions, the 10K of Uncle Ronnie, Ronnie Lawrence in Laporte City. Tim Moore, TW's inside row number four, and Corey Umberger, the 2C to his outside. Final starters will be the 34 of Colby, uh, Cody Affleback out of Burnett, Wisconsin, and the 40RC of Hot Rod. Rod Clement, caution, light us off, eight laps of distance, here we go. Your Elk is towing, heat race number three for your IMC Modified. Everybody picking their way through one and two. You got trouble on the top side. Somebody dropping back through. It is not the 77. He is out in front. Trip Gaylord. He is your lap one leader. Todd Shoot in second. Trip Gaylord, your leader. Todd Shoot sits in second. Isaac Malikoon in third. In fourth is teed up Tim Ward. Then it's Zachary Madrid out of uh, Arizona. Then it is the flying minions of Uncle Ronnie, Ronnie Loritz in the 10K. And then it is Affleback in the 34 from Wisconsin on the speedway right now. But up front is Trip Gaylord, a 70, 17, your race leader. He'll leave the rest of them to fight for the scraps. Gaylord out in front, shoot, will follow him. Malico sits in the number three spot, T-Dove after that, and Zachary Madrid, the 5M. Year leader, he'll work out of three, now four into the front straightaway, the 77T, Trip Gaylord. Trip Gaylord, your leader, the 77T, Todd Shoot in the five, sits in second, Isaac Malico, 11 in third. In that four spot is T-Dove and Tim Ward. 
Then it is the 5M of Zachary Magic. That's your top five. Sixth is Uncle Ronnie. And then it's Cody Appleback, your top seven cars advancing to the A main. Everybody else, the remaining three cars will go to the B main event on the speedway. Three to go as Trip Gaylord pushes it a little high down in one and two. Well, Tim Ward, the 4GW, checking in with Isaac Malakote, asking him if he feels hungry because he's trying to serve him a slider. Can't make it work that time. He'll try him again in one and two, two to go. Gaylord around two into the back straightaway shoot. The battle is for third. That is Malakote and Ward. That time Gaylord didn't win a flirt with disaster down in one and two. He went to the bottom side. He'll see the white flag and one to go. Gaylord will go to the bottom once again. Shoot will run that middle down to the diamond to the bottom as Ward still looks to the inside of Malakote off the track center port by Fox and turn two. Watch him into turn number four. Here comes the slide job from TW. He's got the bumper in front this time. He'll close him out for the number three spot. So Trip Gaylord, the 77T coming home in the top spot. Todd Shute brings the five second and four TW of Tim Ward. He'll finish third. Up next, it'll be your quick performance. IMC, or Big A Tiger Center, IMC Hobby Stock Heat Race number one, presented by Quick Performance. On the pole, it is the Flying Cop. Out of Marshalltown, the 9L, Logan Andrews, and outside of him in the 824 from Emmitsburg, Nicholas Adams. Time for a little lightning in row number two. The Linville Lightning. Corey Vanderwilt sits there, and Solomon Bennett, the 11B, out of Minburg. Hey, inside row number three, it's Andy Pack in the 17. We're going to have a debate about Fords and Chevys. Go to Andy Pack in the 17. And outside of him in the 13N, it's the White Walls, 13N of Dylan Nelson. Inside row four. Are you ready? It's the seven. Brayton Farney sits there. Whitey, was that good? Did we get that right that time? Brett Mosdam, the 55, to his outside. Looking for the green off of four. Here we go in your quick full red seat race number one of three in your hobby stocks. They worked their way on down to two. There's our first of four, I believe, in the hobby stocks here. Off of turn number four, or off of turn two, it is the Flying Cop, the 9L, Logan Andrews, your race leader. Squishy Solomon Bennett working the inside. Well, off of four, it will be the flying cop, Logan Andrews, your leader, lap number one. Andrews trying to hang on. He's got Bennett. Bennett's going to show him the front end out of two and down the back straight away. He knows he's got company there. Dylan Nilsson, the 13 in, in the three spot. And then it is the lightning, Corey Vanderwilt, the 55X. Andrews, not speed our rating here on the on the road. He is keeping track here on the racetrack right now. It is the flying cop out front in the 9L. He's being chased instead of being the chaser in the 9L machine. Squishy Simon Bennett in the 11B sits in second in third in the 13 in of Dylan Nelson with the white walls on that 13 in car. Squishy looks to the inside, done one and two. Logan Andrews out in front of the 9L, trying to keep it there. Bennett now, Bennett coming under attack from Nelson. Nelson off the back bumper, just a couple. And then it is the Linville Lightning, Corey Vanderwell. Oh, the 9L, Logan Andrews, your leader. He'll set it sideways on the exit of turn number two. The 11 exit, Squishy Simon Bennett sits in that second spot. Dylan Nelson, the 13 in car, will look to the inside though, on the bottom. In the 13 in machine, he'll hang on to third. Then it is Vanderwilt, the 55X, sitting back there in that four spot. And then you got Mazdam in the 55, Farney in the seven, and then rounding out your field is the 17 of Andy Peck. This time by the green's gonna go high in the air. Two to go for the flying cop, Logan Andrews. Andrews trying to take you wire to wire here. Bennett, he's just a car link off the back bumper. He's got a great view. He can get close, but can't quite get there. He'll size him up again through three and four. It's a white flag this time. White flag out, one to go for the 9L. The one comp looking at Andrew Beal would be a Solomon Bennett. Little contact between Vanderwilt and Nelson. Vanderwilt trying to drive it in deep and said he'll go for the spin cycle. He'll keep it moving. We'll go to the checkered flag off of turn number four. Checkered is out. 
He got a nickname tonight. It's a 9 now. The flying cop. Logan Andrews, your winner. The Olympia BS Squashy 7 been in second. 13 of the eight, uh, Dylan Nelson in third. Then it's Mazda, Farney. Then it's Vander Wilton, the 55X, and the 80-pack, the 17. Hey, get those 50-50s out. We've got ourselves a winner. It's a green ticket, 91-06-15. 91 06 15. You've won 88 bucks. Up next will be our Danny Outdoor Services. Heat race number two for your Brigade Tires and IMCA Hobby Stocks. On the pole, the 9B is Larry Baldwin Jr. from Des Moines. And outside of him in the 51X, the Precision Towing Carter 51X is Dustin Falloon. Out of Des Moines, the Mayor John Watson. The 4W's inside a row two. The 7C, that's Chad Laguerre from Ankeny. The 12K is Air Conditioner Slater. will be inside one with three alongside the 17 and T of Aiden LeMasters from Marshalltown. Clayton Soggy out of State Center, Iowa. The 71 is inside row four. And Aaron Elliott, he's out of Boone. The 18A rounds out. Your field. Eight laps of distance here in your wild thing. Big A Tire Center, IMC Hobby Stock Heat Race Number Two, presented by DNA Outdoor Services. As we get ready to go, green flag will be Baldwin Jr. and Faloon to lead the field to the gas pedal off of four. We've got a green flag. The action is on immediately. The mayor goes to the bottom, Watson, and he'll bring Knutson with him. Those two, you've got one sliding slow motion up off the high side of turn two. We'll see if he gets moving or we go green or go yellow before he gets around and slowly sitting over there. He gets the move and we'll see if he moves the way around. As Baldwin got around, it looked like he might have had some help because the side panels are coming off of that 9B car. And the caution coming out is 17D or 17T of Aiden LaMasters. Still sitting off of the top turn of the turn number two. He'll work his way around. He was trying to get his way back around, but, you know, hard to get off of turn two over there. We have a see-through race car now. Of course, like I said, the racetrack kind of got back to its original configuration during the offseason. H&H, &H, the tiling, dozing, and excavating. Imagine that I can say the sponsor easily this week, but I'm going to have to say it many times. But uh, Racer Healing came out and helped out... Uh, Jerry and Rockin' Rod Robbins out here and, and uh, brought the racetrack back to its original spots on the parts of the racetrack as it was kind of going, pushing off the back stretch. And well, the back stretch, off the back stretch is not the racetrack property. Let's just say that. So they had to push it back on the property. And that wasn't enough to hold them. No. Green flag is back out. We're down into turn one and two. We got one down, seven to go. It'll be Falloon, your leader. Then Knutson in second. Then it's Legier in the seven to C. Soggy goes around. Lamaster spins around. They both gave him going. We'll stay green. As it's Falloon, your leader. Knutson second. Legier in third. Watson in fourth. Knutson, he's going to go down and cut some grass right around the bottom there. Knutson, the 12K. He's tracking the 51 Exa Falloon. That's your leader, one and two. Watson now makes a run. He makes a bid on the outside of Laguerre for third. It's going to be Falloon, Knudsen, and Watson. Oh, Falloon, your leader right now. Knudsen's got a little hand, or got his hands full. He'll look to the inside. Watson, John Watson in the 4W, going to dip to the outside at Falloon. He'll try to work that higher lane around Falloon. It's Knudsen, your leader. And Falloon not able to hold off Watson. This is the mayor, John Watson, now into second. Watson once more, though. He's looking to the outside of Knudsen off a of two. Knudsen says, got to go. Excuse me. I got the mayor coming. So Knudsen trying to hang on now as he'll work it around the bottom. He's got Watson up off the outside to the line. Knudsen able to get a good run off the bottom, something we haven't seen out of everybody. Three laps to go. Knudsen. Watson, Knutson gets a nice run in about the middle of the back straightaway. Then has to get up off of the gas pedal to go into turn three. The Wa John Watson is now going to put the back bumper. Green goes high two to go. He'll dip back to the outside now of Knutson down in one and two. Knutson will kind of fish tail that tail end out just a little bit, try to shut the door. And now we'll hang on just a moment as they'll come off a three and four riding. There'll be one to go for Knutson in the 12K car. Knudsen trying to make that 12K just as wide as he can make it. He'll send it into one and two. The mayor pulls to the outside. You got one around in front of him. They're by it into the back straightaway. The race is still moving. Knudsen and Watson 
That's one, that's two. Here they come into the final corner. Who's it gonna be? Watson on the high side, Knutson will move up and hang on. Great run up front there, Knutson picking up the win. John Watson coming home in the number two spot and Dustin Falloon, the 5-1-X, he'll take third. Heat race number three here in your hobby stocks, which will be, by the way, the caution and then heat race presented, presented by Stanley Farms. This heat race will be presented by Martin Marietta, and on the pole will be the 2G from Victor, Iowa. Last week's feature winner, Bradley Graham. And outside of him, out of Minneapolis, Kansas, the 77 is Cody Wilson. It's Williams. The Ferguson Freight Train inside the next row, the 47SW, that's Sam West. Derek McNeese out of Eldora, that's the 48 car. Row number three will be the 22 from Scranton, Seth Butler. And outside of him, out of Marengo in the 29 is Nathan Ballard. And your final starter, the 69, that's the Flying Fireman, Calvin Don't. Y you know you're setting up for a battle between the Flying Fireman and... The Flying Cop that we had in heat number one. There you go. Hey, the reason why I gave Logan Andrews the nickname is he is a cop, by the way. Him and my, him and his dad, or him and his dad and myself were trying to come up with a nickname for him. They wanted to make some hero cards for Logan Andrews. They wanted to put on the nickname on the hero cards. So he said, "Well, what kind of nickname could you come up with?" So I kind of sitting there all day long, kind of putting what made it work. And flying policeman didn't seem to work. It seemed like flying cop. I could get it out much easier, and it made it more sense. So flying cop for Logan Andrews, by the way. His dad seemed to like that nickname. So. Well, Graham on the point there, trying to stay hot. He has had a great start to the season. He'll bring him around. Here we go. It is race time. Race time is out. We are underway. We'll go down to turn one and two. Graham works the bottom side. You got Cody Williams out of Minneapolis, Kansas. He in the 77. He'll race leader now. Graham into second. McNeese now goes into the third spot. Butler in fourth. Trying to work that higher lane on the speedway was the 29 of Ballard. Ballard working on the high side. Calvin Don't going to work the bottom side now in the 69. He'll get by the 47 SW, the Ferguson Freight Train, Sam West. And now trying to look get by Ballard. And now Butler, as a round goes, the Ferguson Freight Train over in turn three and four. Well, he saved it. Somehow he kept it from going all the way. Your leader, the 77, that is Cody Williams. Then it is Graham, the 2G, stalking from the two spot. We're going to go three across the track for the third spot. Butler on the bottom. It's still Cody Williams, the leader of the 77, the 2G of Bradley Graham. Sits in that number two spot. And then it's Butler in the 22. Ballard in the 29 is McNeese goes behind now. The Calvin Don't 69 car. They'll work their way around. We're halfway home. Four down, four to go for Cody Williams, the 77. Graham in the 2G. Butler, the 22's got company now. Ballard in the 29 looks to the outside. Nathan Ballard trying to take the three spot away from Butler. As they hit turns three and four. Your leader, he's got it all to himself up in front. That's the double seven, Cody Williams. Graham running second. Butler on the bottom side. Ballard the high side in turn two. Off of turn number two goes that battle for second or for third and fourth on the speedway between Ballard and Butler. Give it to Ballard in the 29. And Butler now back to fourth. He'll now see some pressure of the 69 of Calvin Dote. But now off at turn number two, it's Cody Williams, the 22. Bradley Graham, the 2G, the 29 of Ballard. Now don't go to the four spot. This time by Rodney, white flag is out, one to go. Here your Martin Marietta, heat race number three. One more time around, first and second, looks to be fairly well settled. Third, up for grabs, but now the 29 of Ballard says, I'll move up and take that. You guys go ahead and fight it out. Here comes your leader out of turn number four. Give him the heat race. The 77, Cody Williams will be there. Second play is gonna to go to Bradley Graham, the 2G, and indeed taking third, that is Nathan Ballard, the 29. Oh, it's hobby, it's sport compact time. Your high V food store. IMC sport compact heat race number one presented by JM Fabrications. On the pole, the 